Buenos Nachos, amigos, and welcome to Through the Tones, a TTRPG adventure uh, where a group of understanding and patient friends uh, gather uh, to adventure under the auspices of a, an amateur DM, uh, cobbling it all together with hopes and dreams and existing uh, material. Uh, we are deep into, or ankle deep into, uh, our new campaign, which is uh, the Hand of the Eight, courtesy of DM Dave and a bunch of really great, talented people. Uh, check it out at dmdave.com. I believe it's still in pre-order. Uh, really great book. You get a physical or you can get it PDF uh, or you can get it uh, as a Foundry, uh, I think, Foundry and Roll20. Uh, uh, I don't know if Fantasy Grounds, but um, different varieties. Uh, not an ad. Just really big fans, of course, because and also we're not relevant enough for ads. So let's be real. Um, I'm Petey Rafe, your aforementioned GM. And here with me is my party, my my gang, my squad. We've got uh, Drew. Yeah, howdy, folks. Mm -hmm. We've got Kelly. <laughs> We've got Chris. Mm hmm. And we've got Irish. Hola. Mm -hmm. uh, we're here oh, to... shit. I didn't realize you shut up. <laughs> stealth. Stealth <laughs> mode. Laying in the cut lights like a bandage. Um, We're here to do some DD. We're going to get started in a moment. I'm getting, my, getting myself pulled up here. Uh, all right. We're going to start in, uh, right away. Uh, as we all remember, the, 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 we left off with everyone kind of walking away from the encounter at the lighthouse uh, with a lot of questions and a lot of concerns as to what uh, is the plan going forward. Um, and we, there's a lot to be ascertained, but everyone kind of like, uh, took that moment to just step away and reconvene. Um, but for now, uh, we come to, to, uh, the next day. Um, also if whoever didn't get a chance to, you can go ahead and take your long rest just in case you need to for, for, uh, for mechanics reasons. You can do it anywhere you want. Um, and we'll get started. Let me switch this screen over and I'm going to do a couple of things. I'm gonna move myself and Drew into the secret channel for a moment. And we'll get started with this. I also try to adjust the things in the overlay and stuff. Oh, God dang it. What, what is it? I'm like trying to also uh, uh, adjust things in overlays. What, what? Just, just move it into the center of the thing. Oh. What is, why does it need to switch the, what does it need to move the text over here? <laughs> uh, all right. Why does it need to, like if it, it's like, why does, why does me moving your box move the text? And this is annoying. Like. All right. <laughs> Are they intrinsically linked? Somewhere? I like, I don't know. Uh, they're like grouped. They're grouped. Uh, for 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 reasons. Okay. All right. Let's get started. I'm gonna do it from the book because I like doing it from the book. Pull up in the chapter. Da -da 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 -da. All right. You're dreaming. You know you're dreaming. 
You can sense it. But there's something more to this dream. From the swirling darkness of this co unconscious construction, you can feel something. Someone. In the center of this darkness, you hear the crash of waves. Slowly, the sounds of sailors fill your ears, shouting commands, laughing. There is a boy. The same one from before. His eyes are closed. A, sa a man sits next to him. They're pressed against the railing of a ship. Pressed against each other. Their hands are bound. They're in danger. The boy looks directly at you. Look beyond me, he whispers. And then you wake. You sit up in your room. Uh, kind of like in the, in the middle of the night. Uh, as you wake, kind of like think about the dream. You also... Um, what, what, uh, you also uh, look over into your room and you see uh, in your chair, moved away from your desk, slumped back a little bit and a little snoring a bit, uh, your mom <laughs> is kind of like, it seems to have been set herself up in your room uh, to kind of, you know, just keep an eye on you, I guess, seems. It also looks like uh, a blanket has been placed on her gently. Just kind of like to tuck her in. And she's just there. Snoring. Just sleeping. I was going to say, she's asleep. <laughs> yeah, she's just asleep. She's just like, she's like, she's, it was like she's just, she's just sat there. And it was just, you know, keep. Uh, you can imagine she was just keeping an eye on you. Uh, probably just, you know, uh, worried. And uh, you do notice uh, just a, uh, uh, you do notice that uh, just on, on the other side of the room, uh, where where do you where do you uh, would you say you keep your like your your supplies and your things in your room? Just kind of in a bag out, out out by in your room or in a. I would say, like for. Ease, I would usually keep them by the door, so I grab them as I go out. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, you notice that, uh, uh, like looking away from you, uh, walking about to walk out of the room, uh, is your dad, and I guess he senses you, uh, kind of rustling around, so he looks around. Oh, hey, kid, you up? Why are you in my room? Uh, you know, to, to, hey, it, I, 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 I didn't see your mom in bed, and I was looking around. I guess she's set up in here. I guess you must have had a, a bit of, of adventure today. Uh, yeah, too much. Okay. What do you... Yeah, you know, I wouldn't worry too much. <laughs> it's funny. My mom would always uh, give her a hard time about how, how much she would, uh, how protective she was of you, how overprotective she was of you. Really, if you compared it to like other humanoids, you know, it wouldn't really be nothing. But she was like, "No, Koijini let their children thrive on their own." They, um, she was always a throw throw you in the pool to let you, to make you learn to swim kind of a mom, I guess. But right. not yours. <sighs> yeah. All right. Just uh, I'm just gonna, I just wanted to tuck her I, in. Like, is there anything I can ascertain? Like, it feels like my my dad knows more than he's letting on. Um. Uh, you can yeah, give it an insight check. Yeah. yeah. 14. Um, he, you can tell that there is a healthy level of parental concern. Just making sure that, oh, you, you know, considering with the storm, considering what happened. This was a town law of a wide crisis event. 
and that they didn't see you for the whole day. You can see that there's a parental concern and also, you know, a concern for the other you know, the other parent as well. But he kind of is trying not to let it show too much. Uh, just to not, you know, maybe not to, to let you worry too much, you know? Like, okay. He's so worried there's a worry that... about what happened, not necessarily that there's something that he's worried about more than just like, oh, you went into town and there was like a big event. Yeah, it was nothing it was... seemingly more than that. Yeah, it's the, 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 he's, he, they all seem just like, there was a, there was a traumatic, a kind of a traumatic, scary day. And it, from like just gathering and ascertaining and from what their behavior, you're, it definitely was like a, feels like a, the, the, especially with, in all of that, they didn't see you for that, you know, not all day, but for those, you know, for that, for those few hours. And I was like, Gotcha. But they're definitely trying to like, you know, not be be cool about it to not let you get too worried. But like, uh, he's done that, uh, and he kind of looks at like down at your pack, uh, and uh, he notices something, and he looks down. He reaches in, pulls out the the ident that uh, odd unidentified scroll that's all like scribbled on and seems weird huh you found this huh found it what do you know about it i started giving him five up <laughs> um you know what i won't ruin the surprise uh, I think he might have fun with it. Just, uh, I'll let you take care of uh, figuring out what it what it does. He puts it right back. Hey, kiddo. Yeah, what's up, man? Yeah. Uh, I'm proud of you. He seems. Seems to do pretty well out there. Well. Right. And I know you came here to stay away from this stuff sometimes, but yeah, yeah. I'm sorry if I'm getting too much into it, but uh, there's something there. I. I'm definitely, uh, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm definitely scared a little bit. But I can't, I can't, um, help. But trust you. I feel like I can, I, I feel like you're going to, you're going to be all right. As much as that, that, that fear in the pit of my stomach wants to like, You're gonna be all right. I, 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 I didn't mean anything, you know. You, you got us. We, we're always got your back. Okay. Thanks, pops. All right. All right. Go back to sleep. I'll, I'll, I'll see you in the morning. Like sort of cold sweat sort of wipe my eyes and get back to bed. Mm -hmm. And he kind of walks out. And you kind of like have the rest of your night to rest. Uh, and then I'm gonna move what, let me do this thing. <laughs> so a, and let's see what they're talking about. And Welcome back. We're back. Welcome back. Um, all right. Who is next in my thing? So, uh, the. I presume, and when you at some point during the evening, the previous evening, those of you who are not residents of Haver were offered a place to stay uh, at the Y shirt. I think uh, Spywise 
uh he has his own accommodations outside you know his, his, he's got basically like a tent and his you know a fish a fishing setup outside so he kind of declined uh, <laughs> but uh and uh so that leaves uh 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 doom walker uh, doom watcher doom watcher <laughs> We also, I did, I, I, Irish, I did tell Chris that you said it. <laughs> uh, uh, Doom Watcher. Uh, Watching out for Doom. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Awesome. I'm not walking to Doom. I'm watching out to Doom. I'm trying to prevent exactly. the Doom. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Just, just, just remember all, ca- all caps when you spell the man name. Yeah. That's all, that's all I'm saying. Um, it really helps that I can't remember the name half the time for real, so it's just funnier when my character genuinely can't either. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. So Doom and uh, and Sept, I presume you take them up on the offer and having a. Oh, I should probably switch to in game. Uh, let's just switch over here. Okay. I always forget the the production side of things. Uh, <laughs> let's do it. Uh, Pretty sure I'm at an angle and I can't fix it. <laughs> oh. I'm just chilling. Ah, damn it. Back, my chair. Uh, there we so, go. Better. Um. Uh, as you guys kind of like, um. Uh, so uh, how how. Uh, so you, do you guys are both are are early risers or you guys tend to sleep in. <laughs> Yeah. To be an early riser, for sure. Early, early. I'm yeah. early. Yeah. Uh, I mean, Doom Watch is 100 percent an early riser. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, definitely, uh, definitely Doom Watcher and uh, and uh, Sept uh, are up early at the the Y shirt uh, for their breakfast uh, for some breakfast times. Uh, uh, Ox has its regular residence as a white shirt. Uh, yeah. Uh, and. I want to toss like a person. Mm-hmm. And you guys kind of come down to, to, to the, to the eatery, to the bar. Uh, you guys set yourselves up uh, and you order your kind of like breakfast and your foods. And uh, I almost forgot to actually look up the name of the actual owner of this place let me see this. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm getting all right so um as you kind of there you see a kind of a uh a, a young uh uh, a young uh, half elf woman, uh, you know, nicely dressed, like nicely upkempt, you know, early morning, freshly woken up, uh, but uh, hard work, uh, uh, and working, getting everything set up for the morning, get everyone situated, and uh, everybody's get their drinks and their breakfast. Uh, you at this point, after you know, with the interactions, you know, this is Besco Wells. Uh, the kind of the, the primary most popular bartender, uh, that mainly, uh, uh, make sure everything's run right. Um, and, you know, she's, uh, she's getting everyone uh, situated. Um, and I like, well, morning folks. Uh, how, you know, how do you, how'd you sleep after all that, uh, yesterday? Hard to after missing such a goal by so close. Yeah. Um. Frankly, it feels like I missed like half of it, <laughs> as if I wasn't even here. I, I, I can believe that. Uh, I can believe that, Ox. I, I, I can believe that. Um. I'll let the storm get to you. Well, uh, I mean, uh, I can tell you all that. Um. Uh, that 
yesterday could have been a whole lot worse if it wasn't for you, for you guys in fact uh and spy wise wherever he is um and yeah you know, only you don't want to don't want to say uh losing anyone is a is a busting but the fact that the casualties could have been a whole lot worse. Um, and uh, does anyone uh uh does anyone give a? Because uh, anybody can give me a, an inside check if you'd like. Whoever want whoever. Uh, Daddy, funny. Uh, nice. Uh, you definitely catch that as in the moment she says like, uh, I was like mainly Doom Watcher. You can, uh, yeah, just Doom Watcher. You notice that in that moment it's like, you don't want to say that losing anyone, uh, is is a blessing. She kind of looks over to a to an empty chair, uh, further along at the bar. Very subtly, uh. Just almost like as an instinct, and it's like, but um, we only lost a few. Uh, could have been a whole lot worse, I guess. Oh. You know, it's like it's like my papa used to say, "Just thank God for little miracles." Mm, yeah. Something at least. Yeah. Uh, well, well, you all get yourself situated. Uh, I'll you know make make sure you guys have a good breakfast and rest up. I don't know what you have planned for the day. I'm sure uh, Mastid might uh might have you uh uh might have to might have a wor uh things to ask of you. Uh, we all take care. Oh, and speak of the devil, and uh, the door is open. Uh, out uh, in walks in uh, the burgomaster of the of the of the place, Mastid. Uh, they were. Oh no, thanks. We got breakfast over here. <laughs> and morning, uh, Governor. How you doing? Um, uh, morning, uh, team. Uh, morning, friends. Uh, well, I just uh, I thought I'd uh, catch you, check you all here. Uh, uh, to make sure, uh, I thank you properly for everything that you did. You really went above and beyond and, uh. Oh, absolutely. All of these little rabbit critters, they, they did their damnedest as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. Um, it was, it was a, it was a heck of a day. I think everyone in Haver owes you a great debt of gratitude with you guys, with your help. You were able to keep those orcs occupied enough to everyone get themselves situated and hold back uh and all the other uh parts of the town and get them i definitely saw you guys firing that uh old baby and though you didn't hit many times you definitely get them got them dancing out there on the boats uh and distracted so they they couldn't they couldn't get it in you could row in straight Like you said, and a little bit helps. Yeah, but they still got their goals. So that sucks. <sighs> I mean, um, we're we're. I'll keep you informed if we find anything else about about Mega and what he has planned. I we're 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 still working hard on investigating what happened, who was involved. Uh, you're, you're welcome to ask around town to, and see if anybody saw anything uh, or knows what might happen uh, or receive any clues about what, what was uh, who, uh, who else might have been there but, uh, um, before I forget let me let me give you something to for your troubles uh, have this situated and he goes into his pouch uh, and he grabs uh, several coin bar uh, 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 barbs coin <laughs> pouches and he hands each of you uh, a coin pouch which uh, 
I, which is already in your inventory because I did it off stream, but he hands you all each a uh, hundred uh, gold pieces. He's like, um, hopefully this will, uh, this will help you, uh, going forward and whatever you have planned. And if you plan to, I guess, uh, you seem to do you, uh, yeah, young furry one, you seem determined to go after, uh, uh, mega yourself. Uh, uh I wish you luck, uh, but, uh, hopefully that can help with what, the, what you need. We still have our shops are set up. Luckily, there was very little to no damage to, to property or store, so everything's back in business out, out there in town, and, uh, and big thanks to you. Um, uh, with that, I will, I will, I will bid you good day. Uh, take care of yourselves. And he kind of like turn, you know, turns the heel and walks out. Just waddles away. Um. This just bumping up the table. And, uh, presumably, uh, at this point, uh, Fack is also a morning, <laughs> fairly morning person, but he's out, you know, as an own home. Do you head out? Do you head over to the Y shirt? Uh, presumably you were aware that that's kind of where everyone's staying. But I don't want, I want to assume what Fack would be up to in the morning. Well, I would... I would want to be around to see like make sure everybody's okay after last night make sure everybody got up and i mean i never got the supplies from town in the first place so yeah. i would need to be back in town today anyways to yeah. do what i had to do for the farm yeah. uh, outside of town so yeah so as you kind of like get yourself uh situated in your your, your room uh there's a little bit uh just yeah, a few minutes after that uh, let him, you're in your room getting ready, getting ready to get out. Uh, you hear some chatter from out in like the, the, the main common area and somebody come in and, uh, you kind of like step out and you notice that, uh, uh, Mastin has stopped by and, uh, uh, your dad is over, uh, you know, so your dad over there in the, in the kitchen preparing like a, like a tea to kind of, uh, welcome him, um, and he's there standing like in the living room was like oh oh hey feck uh how you doing this morning uh oh, i'm doing okay uh i was just with uh with the, the the other uh uh i guess new uh compatriots of yours uh even though you guys just met yesterday <laughs> um uh, to thank them, and I wanted to come by and thank you personally, you know, uh, for all that you, you know, you all did yesterday. Uh, the, the damage could have been a lot worse, and I think you saved a lot of lives, uh, with your help. Uh, it's like, um, it's like, your mom's like, smile, happy, my dad's considerate. Yeah. yeah. And your mom comes in like, Say, wow, saved lives? Oh, uh, this must have been a heck of a day. Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, yeah, it was, uh, was your, your son's help was, uh, inv invaluable to, to us uh, yesterday. Uh, and uh, in oh, fact, I wanted to, uh, uh get, you know, compensate him on behalf of the town. For all of his uh, work and trouble, uh, and he ha he puts the 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 pouch uh, uh, the coin pouch uh, holding the hundred gold onto the table. Is it, you know, just uh, something we put together. Uh, Keep my head low, but sort of smile to myself. 
and like uh you notice your your mom look down at it and, and look at you and give you that like hey <laughs> the like the like wordless like hey there hey <laughs> yeah but like kind of like yeah <laughs> the look on her face like nice work <laughs> uh and uh she picks it up she's like she grabs it for grabs it and it's like uh looks, looks inside it's like all right and then hands it over to you like, you're gonna need this <laughs> for your college fun fact <laughs> And then kind of uh, gives you a kiss on your forehead. It's just like, all right, good job, kiddo. Uh -huh. right, well. I smile, but kind of do the like fifteen year old, like, come on, mom. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah. So like, um, and. Um, and yeah, and then he kind of, well, uh, the, uh, beyond that, you know, he, he stays and he has tea with the grown ups and they, they talk, uh, they do their grown up conversations. Uh, do you stick around or do you kind of like go about your day? Or, you know, like... Me, I sort of go out, I guess. I sort of do. I, I sneak out, but like I kind of double back and sort of keep an ear yeah. to see what I can hear. Yeah, it's like well, uh, he he they mostly just discuss like um uh, uh the the kind of the the friends uh and check in on each other. It's like oh, okay, everybody over there, this uh, all the friends over here are, are, are fine and. Uh, we only, you know, unfortunately we lost a few. And then uh, uh, he does mention a couple of the militia members that uh, had passed away. Um, and, you know, they, they mentioned, like, oh, it's tough. You know, they, and talk about, and asked about, like, um, what are you going to, you know, how's the conversation going to be with their partners and things like that. Um, you know, and mostly... Just uh, discussions on that regard. Uh, it says that, you know, uh, yeah, and that this essentially kind of the conversation how it goes is like a very like, you know, casual but like pro somewhat somber conversation about you know, it could have been a lot worse, but there was a couple like, we still lost people, and that you know it always. It's always sad to to have to have those discussions, those conversations, especially someone in charge of the of the town. Yeah. That's the extent of kind of the conversations they have. That's the extent of like you can tell that's the extent of their concerns, at least at the moment. Uh, yeah, and then that's. You catch that as you're heading out, uh, and eventually you meet up with the rest of the group at the Y shirt. You, a spec kind of like steps in, and you see see the rest of the the, the crew. Um, Spywise eventually makes his way there with a with a. a a couple of fish in his, <laughs> in his uh, on the line with him. Heard a cup, heard a cup of fish. <laughs> so I'm just imagining like, well, what I was I was assuming was gonna be like a mug of ale, but then I heard fish, so my brain just filled in with like like a bunch of sardines. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Two sides. Uh, of the I'm watching. Don't worry, it's all the landfill up in here. Do <laughs> much and notices them and says, "Hey kiddo, hey spy, come on over." Yeah. All right. All right. Uh, and kind of like spy wise saunters over. How's it going? What's what's what, uh? I figure you guys are probably have a have a plan of what to do today, and uh, I've already got uh these. I'm just gonna sell them off, and uh, I've got nothing else to do for the day. 
What do, what do you guys have for I swear, this town changes more than I can remember. What what which shops do we have available here again? Well, um, uh, you guys know that you pre pretty much have all the basic shops. Uh, you can actually, if you want, uh, and and you wanted to kind of do it on your own, uh, if you go into the journal part uh, in Foundry, uh, there's a folder called Shops Town Shops comma Town. Mm -hmm. that you should have observer privileges on and uh you pretty much have oh. all of those shops available uh in town uh and you guys can actually even like you know however you want to do it uh go in there and actually you should be able to uh, unless uh, i think it works but you should be able to open a journal and like look through and and purchase what you might need um mm -hmm. This is cool, PD. Where was this in the previous one? Uh, yeah, this this is, is, I, this I just discovered type. this, and I figured, oh, this would, this makes sense to find now that you kind of have like your downtime between the beginning of the adventure. But this is uh, courtesy of um, monks. It's monk shop module that works with monks enhanced journals. Uh, uh, the foundry module. So basically, just like allows you i could also even like if i had like a big city map that i wanted to i could also use tiles to like have you like automatically open the journal on when your token enters mm -hmm. a tile or or how let you click on a token on this on the on the map to like open the journal but i just i just uh did it this way because it's easy so you can just like go through and like shop at your at your leisure mm -hmm. and it'll like automatically ask me to verify any purchases and things like that yeah. Yeah. And and herbal. Okay. Yeah, that's a there you go. And a Doom Watcher goes ahead and <laughs> so and, you know, as you kinda of like wa wa plan your day, it's like you guys, you know, uh this is gonna be the thing you're gonna be doing throughout in the middle of these like other big moments. It's like, well, are we gonna investigate any uh anything in particular um, you said something about feel free to talk to people but who would know i was i was personally thinking that those like, i almost fell into the accent again um i was thinking that those anti-magic crystals might be worth investigating because that's particularly unusual mm -hmm. so if you were to like I don't know if the lighthouse is still occupied, but we could probably just head on back and just right off the thing and oh, either uh, sell that. Or... Pertinent question, Drew. Uh, what 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 uh, spell does um, does Feck prepare as far as as far as his knowledge of the eight? His one, you know, single use any spell he wants in the world. <laughs> I, right now, was that, what did I have? I used a, I had alarm. Yeah, you had right? alarm. Uh, give me a second. Let me get back to you. Okay. I'm curious about, like, what they're doing and what that lighthouse could hold. Yeah. Um, so, like, thinking about going with them. But... Yeah. And, like, if you need to, you know, it could be, obviously, you know, there's always uh, things like identify and things like that to help with magic items or stuff like that. But uh, in case you want to like help with that, requirement. right? I think I have detect that I like. That's what I was. Let me. Yeah. Let me look and think what I would think throughout the night. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that I, would be good for like thinking about the curiosity and what we saw and what I was missing and all that. Mm -hmm. All right. And what what uh what about the rest of the game? Would you... I'll, I'll back on and let you guys discuss. <laughs> um, I think Doom Watch is definitely interested in re evaluating the tower now that we have a little bit more time and not rushing to make sure everything's all good and 
stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anything that might give us a chance. Mm -hmm. Speaking of which, we might want to stop. I'm taking a look here. If if we all got about a hundred gold ourselves, we might want to stock up a bit more on those healing potions, because you know, mm -hmm. good gods above know that that we struggled a bit with that last time. Uh, so you have that as an mm -hmm. option when you want to pick up in town. So you, you could. Just... It's a good idea to stop by uh, either an adventuring. There's a there's a, a supply store for adventurers. Well, actually, they don't have that. Uh, but there's also a a kind of a general uh, uh, potion uh, dealer in town that does mm -hmm. has a, specializes in potions and in and, and whatnot. Uh, let's see, I can write the names. Uh, there you go. The <laughs> I like it. The cursed plate. There you go. I, I, I picked generate name. This as a little oh. used to find a, t a place called the Cursed Plate. Um, nice touch. Yeah, just let me. It won't uh, let I... me drop alarm. Just yeah. FYI, I don't um, know beyond. I'm not seeing. Um, what you can do is, uh, you ha you might have to go into your character builder. Uh, okay. And then go back into that, uh, like I'll go back into that. Yeah, it, I, I. Uh, I don't think I could figure out how to do it in a, any other way other than like let you have access to all that in that setup part. So I think it'd be easier just yeah. Just, so you just go in there and you pick it, pick it which one you want. Um, but yeah, and then, this one. Yeah. Uh, this one. Boom, 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 boom. Ooh, okay. Yeah. So, just to let the party know, Doom Watcher uh, uh, bought a herbalism kit, a potion of healing, and alchemist supplies. He's gonna learn the alchemist supplies and the herbalism kit as we travel. Nice. <laughs> so you made your purchases, um, and uh, you guys didn't look over, but uh, uh, let me get into. Adventure again. I keep I'm like closing the adventure kit. Uh, there you go. Uh, stepped also uh, go, stops by, purchases a, a potion of healing. Um, so, yeah. Sorry. so you guys head over, uh, you know, as you do the, the, you do the shopping, uh, on the way but uh, as is your want yes uh you guys head over to the sparkling lookout um and you know the building standing uh you uh you stand you st you get a little bit cl uh, closer there uh you do see that masted and a few of the militia are standing by and they're like uh so sorry uh gang uh we're we're kind of like not letting everybody in to the into the lighthouse as we kind of do our investigation. What's the, uh, Sounds like a good way to avoid looters, if you're asking me. Uh, it's not really our concern, but uh, that uh, it's kind of a side concern. But uh, uh, yeah, unless you have something uh, pertinent and pertinent to see in there, uh, unfortunately, we're we're gonna have to. Uh, do Do I know this guard? Because with me. With well, this is Masted. This is the Burkelmeister again. You just and then you see oh, the, the, the mayor. Yeah, the mayor. Can I try, because I feel like my character would love to try this. I want to try to, like, smooth talk him into that. What do you say to him? Uh, uh. Mm, I'm, that's the thing. My brain is, like, trying to process it. <laughs> so it's like, so, so, Mr. Mayor here. So when we came through beforehand... Like a, a few of my magic friends here felt powerful nasty when, when they were pro some of these like weird rock crystals while we were up there. I wouldn't want that to be bothering anybody else. And more importantly, we do have that arcane shop here. I think that if, if you don't mind and I don't mind, I would, we might be able to take that and at least get rid of it. Because mm -hmm. frankly, like it's in our own way, let alone we don't want someone we don't know doing that after y'all are finished up with your investigation. Uh -huh. So right. what I will say is that 
So uh, this is above table, by the way. Yeah. Uh, at the end of last session, Doomwatcher did take all the crystals. Yeah. yeah. Oh, thank you. But you yeah, know, you're still worth saying like, oh, we want to make sure everything's okay. Yeah, yeah. But you still get the across the idea that like, you know, you want to make sure you you had gotten the crystals, but but or you even you don't even have to mention that you got the crystals. <laughs> But you want to make sure everything's yeah. kosher and things like that. You know, everything's okay, especially from a perspective of magic knowledge. These people know their magic. <laughs> we don't. Yeah, These I, people I do. Think, <laughs> as to like help yeah. in a way, uh, Dumanche would definitely show his uh, sigil of basically yeah. his order, yeah. more or less, and be like, yeah, um, we just want to make sure that. Yeah they didn't leave any traces of anything before you guys yeah do touch anything magically. um but yeah so luckily uh, go ahead and, uh ox give me a uh a, a persuasion check with advantage and i'll let you know why because since you guys succeeded at the docks um and you kind of you basically those only a handful of casually no property damage pretty much for the next month or so word spreads around there any charisma checks with interacting with friendly or indifferent havarians is made with advantage so they they really like you around here so and, and master in particular is like he's very like content he's listening to what you have to say so you can make your uh, your uh persuasion check with advantage uh oh, uh chris <laughs> Double 17. 17 right here. Uh nice. Uh yeah, so he's like, well, you know, he's he listens like, yeah, you guys have a point. You guys uh, seem pretty um pretty well versed in what, what 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 might happen. Uh all right, yeah, go ahead. Uh just let us know if you if you need uh anything or let us know what, what you might what you might find out. Um yeah. All right, and you guys make your way in the lighthouse. You look through, and you're looking through the various details. You already looked through the, you know, as you go into area two, you already know, uh, I won't make you do this check again, that you you look through like the first, like a couple areas, you you look around, you see that there's like a social gathering. Um, you, uh, you recognize that, yeah, you are able to like, based off of, who was here there was nine attendees uh you remember you, and like i said counted five people um in your head there's four others there's uh 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 you do as you go into the town you re you, you obviously rediscover that hidden closet where you where it seems like one a person was hiding at least temporarily and but that they left you also um look into uh the basement and you notice that there was a there's a secret uh exit like a secret um emergency exit almost like uh in the basement that leads out to the back into kind of like the uh, uh to a uh, little rocky hidden area on the back of uh the lighthouse out kind of overlooking the shore that seems to like you know uh escape out and lead back in into town that could have been a, a way somebody else could have uh uh hidden that escape and there's no hint that somebody did do that uh there, there seems to be did? that there was there was a couple people uh let me see let me make sure what else do, do, do. uh yeah there's there was somebody hidden in the basement from where you could tell you know uh uh and they seem to have like made their way out uh, through the back. Um. So from here, and this is to the group. From here, I think we ask the guards who were yeah. at the gate if anybody think... passed through last night yeah and uh if as far as like the person in the closet if anybody wants you can give me a um a whoever wants can give me an investigation or survival check um 
to to see if you can figure out at least a person from the closet where they may have gone out. Anybody else, please? <laughs> Investigation, you said? Oh, oh for shit! Yes. Damn. Don't. Sept. Sept is, it seems sure to... That's my second nat one in this campaign. I don't think I got one nat one. I'm just more curious, one. honestly. I have a negative one, too. I'm just more curious of my luck. Uh, just do it. Well, let me <laughs> I, I swore it was going to be that one as well. All right, let me do this. You rolled better than the person who has a plus three and a plus two. So you win this. Ain't that just the way? Yeah, ain't that just the way? Ain't that the way the cookie crumbles? That RNG dough, I believe, is the, uh, <laughs> what the kids would say. What the chip there is one say. idea. While, we're, while we are investigating, I have a 12. Um, I did have an idea that we might be able to pull off if we have the right resources available. Um, Y'all said you fought the, the guy who rode off the, the vulture up here, yeah, on the lighthouse? Uh, and then he just took off with the lady? Uh, yes. You guys, they, 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 yeah, they, you guys caught him. You guys saw him way off in the distance. Uh, we're a little too late to be able to... Oh, wait. Uh, oh, no, the storm is happening again. Oh, no! <laughs> Let me. I want to. Okay, so this is this is a self roll. I want to. I want to check um, but, see if I have uh, an idea. So, but I always let's. Like seeing if I have a brain, uh, a brain let's say. Okay, so but Sept, let's focus on your thing. You are able to kind of like. You are. Um, and I would say. Uh, you you have a pretty good understanding of kind of a little bit of the trail of, of where this guy might be going uh and yeah, definitely footsteps and this person uh you i'm gonna say based off of like footprints and maybe even like butt prints and scuffles scuffs in here and there um the the person in question would have been uh a gnome that seemed to kind of like just go and sometime last night and like uh escape downstairs and if you you know once you guys are done you know you can confidently like follow out his uh, whoever's their trail out mm -hmm. um to wherever they might be but um i don't yeah. suggest anything because i'm gonna be scared to be the wrong one mm -hmm. um and then uh so somebody uh, can give me a perception check in, uh, so that you can see if we, uh, for area five. Your boy got a... That's a big old negatory. <laughs> I'm, I'm just thinking of my super brilliant idea. Our rolls, dog. <laughs> <laughs> it's better to have these rolls now, to be yeah. fair. Yeah, that's very I true. mean, yeah, there's nothing trying to kill us, I guess. Yeah. So that's a plus. That's a, that's a plus. Maybe that's, uh, let me... Okay, let me... I forget that I also control a character. <laughs> me, who was also, uh... Uh, proficient in perception. Unfortunately, he doesn't. Do, oh wait, the uh, wait, let's, let's press it again. Oh. Uh, no, well. <laughs> no, there's nothing uh in particular. <laughs> Uh, but uh, as you kind of like look look around, uh, that's pretty much all. That it is pretty much all you find. The other thing you do find unusual is that there's like there's flocks of blackbirds gathering around the lighthouse, particularly in the top part of the building. Um, you know, they, they, if, you, if shooing them doesn't make them go away, they absolutely not are not scared of you. You can approach, you can get right up into their faces. Um, 
and they just seem to be all in various places, just cawing and uh, and and uh, observing and watching. Also, I'm curious of what Spanish the village uh, they used uh, to record this Wawa for the, for the Sirenscape sound. Because they're definitely just random people just speaking random Spanish. I'm like, what the? <laughs> like, <laughs> Spanish and I think oh. Italian. <laughs> there's, there's, they yeah, both come from the same other language, I guess. Yeah. Um, Can me. any of y'all wizards do one of them uh, speak with animals types of spells? No. <laughs> Man! All that magic and goo got for nothing. <laughs> I didn't really try to speak. I'm so much sure acting weird. I might be able to understand you. Uh, yeah, I mean, if you want to get, if anyone wants to give me a, a nature check. <laughs> so I have a quick question. Uh huh. I always roll. <laughs> I don't know about y'all. I always do. Would message technically count here? Um, I mean, a message to, uh, uh, you point your finger toward a creature mm -hmm. within range and whisper a message to target and only to target his message and can reply in a whisper that only you can do. Uh, let's see, let's see. Okay, so that. Doesn't say that they need to speak the same language. But it does need to whisper. And. <laughs> If you uh, uh, part might imply that could be the same, but you know. It's just sending you something you can hear. Exactly, and it's exactly. like, but you won't understand it. So with my five and my animal handling, I'm like, hey, what well, you guys are talking about? It'll be your nature. Talk human 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 human. Human. <laughs> uh, yeah, Doom Watcher and I, we just go up to the crows as if we're trying to have a conversation. They just start pecking us. You, you just see me start pointing at every single crow, oh, and, <laughs> like, and underneath my breath, you hear, call if this happens, and they just keep calling no matter what. Huh? <laughs> and then, like, they just do that, like, yes. the, oh. like they're just gonna do their cocking their head at you, it's like, uh, spy-wise looks at, looks at them, like, kind of, like, gives them a once-over, uh, and it's like, So these uh these are definitely not natural. These are these are definitely not natural. I've seen my share of birds before. Can I now do an arcana check to see if they're magic based? <laughs> um uh yeah you can you can, yeah. I mean, this is being communicated, so I'm, um, like, I'm going to I'm gonna say with that information, I'm just going to say that 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 makes it that that clears it the the uh, the DC very quickly. It doesn't take much to figure out, especially with the proficiency that they're they're magical, not not exactly like, but not unlike familiars. Okay. It gives off the kind of that vibe. A little familiar um but obviously that it, it, it you're either there are just so many of them um so there's either a shit ton of wizards all sending their familiar to to to, to all the sending the one type of familiar to well, this one area for some reason or this is something else this this phenomenon or these are something else. Do these look like the giant bear that carried away Mega? <laughs> <laughs> no, the the the, the vulture one. Did not, no, they look nothing like. They look more like okay. something a something between a jackdaw and a crow. You know, just kind of like but almost. A, and that, that's what it is. Like you can't and. And now that you think about it, is the fact that you can't like 
you can't definitively like pinpoint like this is a blackbird but which kind of i can't like you can't like definitively define which blackbird it is it just seems like it doesn't fit the mold for either one it's just a general blackbird that also hints to you like that's okay something something more to this there's pot mm -hmm. are we are gonna get flamed by bird fanatics for this <laughs> either way it's technically a crow because it's a corvid mm -hmm. But uh, the fact that you can't pinpoint like one of the uh, one of the as a random Italian bards sing off in the distance. When the moon hits your eye, like, hits your eye like a big pizza pie, and that's the borrows. The, the when one you thing. want an authentic New York slice, that's the borrows. <laughs> I'm gonna so. say, <laughs> when you're stuck at the mall. Unpopular opinion: this borrows isn't isn't terrible. No, of course not, but it's just not, you know, great. This <laughs> is like, it's a, it's not, it's fine, but like, you, you could just walk five feet and get a better option <laughs> if you're in New York. Anywhere else you go, you'll probably get a better option. Yeah, I mean, but, in New but, York, yeah, yes, yes. But in a Midwest mall, it's like exactly. that Panda Express. Like, exactly. 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 It's, exactly. it's, it's like a going difference. to the Earl of Sandwich. It's not even Panda Express. That's random off names. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> No, we had a Panda Express because we didn't have any, like a good, like a weird Chinese restaurant in our mall. And I don't remember what the other one's even called. It might just be like Tokyo or something. We had Sparrow, we had Panda, we had some weird Philly cheesesteak place, mm -hmm. a McDonald's, an Orange Julius Dairy Queen, <laughs> and a Annie Ann's that was a late edition. Man, this town is diverse in D&D. Um, yeah. <laughs> so as you kind of like are, are finishing up what you can observe in there and like you kind of like are a little perturbed by the blackbirds, you, you see a couple figures approach you. Um, you see three people kind of like walk up to you like a whatever, like one of the floors. And, and approach you kind of like a little bit and uh, they seem to be like three apprentice mages um, and they say that they, uh, one of them uh, uh, speaks up and uh, says well excuse me um, I'm sorry sorry to, to bother you but we um, I, we want um we were here when uh, when the attack happened. We actually were we were hidden in the in the basement. And we were wondering if you if we, we could help in any way. Uh, so the, well, uh, there's one question I do want to ask you guys: Who was the one who was hidden in the laboratory's cupboard? area thing uh, i mean i can't tell you uh, well i mean i could tell you who was here and kind of give you like a i can give you kind of a, a recap at least of what we remember of the of the of the day of uh and that <laughs> might help okay that's okay um because um so um uh, i'm mr uh and uh this is a uh, uh susan and nebrook uh, i will copy and link uh, copy and paste the names into the uh into the in-game chat for you guys okay, for your convenience why did it paste twice i guess why did it paste twice weird. um so we uh so we were we were in 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 the lighthouse with everyone um 
what was the day what was planned was a was a was a gathering um there was these um fellow sage fellow mages that uh that come into town um uh that namod had invited our our the person we, who we were apprenticing under and learning from um at his behest uh we all were on a break in the basement um uh, just you know taking a break from from all the you know the festivities um when the orcs attacked um we couldn't see what was happening we just kind of hunkered down and and hid uh but we heard a lot of them screaming um some of them even yelled i can't use my spells and after a few minutes of fighting it just got quiet uh, we can only uh, assume that it's because it was, it was they killed everyone um the um <laughs> And then uh, the, uh, Zuzen kind of pops in. Well, uh, I can uh, tell you um, a little bit about who was here as well. Um, so um, the all the other mages that uh, were here were all influential scholars from other parts of the continent. Um, if I remember correctly, um, I, 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 I had the list memorized because I had to accommodate them all. Uh, we had... A Sorin bl the Black from Araketa. Uh, we had Scowl Fozid from Steel Church. Uh, and Bullock Seven Toes from Aspeth. And Valkyrn Vorpos from the Kingdoms of Man. Um, in fact, uh, uh, and then, uh, uh, um, the uh, uh, the first one, uh, Imar pipes in. Like, I think we're just gonna have to go up there and see. Are the uh, are the? Uh, could you describe what you saw as far as like the the who you saw as far as the bodies? I I, I uh, that you did see. I presume there were, because there was a lot of, the, I see a lot of blood in here. Yeah, so the little, the party area on the first floor that we got to dabbing at initially, um, but, uh, I forget how many bodies were there. Then we went up to the second floor, there was more, and I, I, from there, it was just facing orcs more. And then you guys give your, uh, let's say you guys give your best uh, descriptions of who you saw where. So it's like, okay, that is, I think the only one, uh, there was the three people, there was, you only saw the one, the one gnome, right? Uh, that was yeah. Namod. Um, there was gnome fighting, but left later. Uh, well, that would be Valkyrie Vorpos from the Kingdoms of a Man. Uh, he was actually the one um, that brought the book everyone. Um, he had brought uh, an old book for the sages to examine. Uh, they called it Prime. Um, and they often were, you know, joking, asking uh, any primers in the chat. Uh, 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 they... they they were able to subscribe to to their favorite streamer for free every month. It was it was a great book. No, um, See, was, I was gonna make an Amazon Prime joke. I mean, that's essentially the same joke. It's yeah, yeah, making yeah, a Twitch Prime. Say, you're, the you're we're on Twitch, so Prime, we got to make like, the Twitch Prime joke. You know, yeah. Prime. Any primers? Seriously, any primers out there? Um. Prime seems like a really weird name for a book. Uh, Prime, you know, he, so, uh, back to <laughs> serious, mm, lion face, sorry, uh, uh, ah, lemon face, mm, uh, the Prime, it was, 
it was completely unreadable uh yeah. and from what our like um from what our like observations and kind of examinations of it it seemed to em emit like a very strong illusion magic uh, like we tried to dispel the magic and it did no effect whatsoever uh, and like, oh, that was been... what them shiny rocks were for. Uh, no, the shiny rocks. I don't know. We just were using our our magic spells, you know. Um, well, one of them activated a anti magic field, which is probably why you had the screaming. We can't use that magic. Oh, that. That I do not know. Um, I mean, the I I, I can't. I haven't, we honestly have no answers for you on that regard. Uh, we uh, and why that was what was in place. I mean, it's hard to believe that it would be. It was his, but it's hard to believe that he would, he would do that and set them up like set them up to be to be easy target. Who would betray his his friends like that? I mean, that's the only thing I can imagine for using for doing that is to to make it so they couldn't defend themselves. And, but it's. Um, but, um, we're not sure, um, is it, did they, did, did you hear anything else from, before he, before Namod was taken from us? Um... One thing that we did notice was Mega the Orc carrying somebody on this giant vulture. It looks uh, like a girl, I think. Woman. Ah, uh, yes. Nadia Mansour. Uh, Nadia Mansouri. Uh, uh, she was brought in as someone to uh, help us with the book as she... Uh, she was present as well, and she's Castle Graf's um, foremost expert on uh, ciphers and ancient languages. Um, so she kind of came so, as, as uh, someone to look at it from a practical standpoint and see what, what she can ascertain. She was very interested uh, in the book, um, but uh, it, was, you know, it was hard to make headway in you know, such a short amount of time before the orcs attacked. So... From what I'm hearing, y'all nerds were having a nerd party, then everything went to shit, and then when your super book nerd got kidnapped by the orcs, guys, uh, now now leaves you kind of stuck here. Uh, I mean, I... Uh, we, we... Which leads to my next question. Uh, so the big thing we're trying to do is find her, correct? Should you know on the on the off chance she still has to be alive? Because from what you're telling me, she may be a valuable resource with with all of that book learning. So I was wondering, because because I've heard this tell telltale a few times before, with with like the right physical materials, like in my head, the first thing I thought of was like maybe a vulture feather. Would we be able to like follow it with any of your magic goo guys? Well, uh, um, I mean, uh, so we're very new. We're very, uh, sounds like y'all are newbies is what I'm hearing. Yeah. I mean, there are great spells for detecting and locating, uh, you know, people, creatures, like even objects, but, uh, those, I mean, those were we we're, were still learn. We were still learning. We were still learning the 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 our ropes in in the magic world, and that was is going to be our our big progress. 
uh, learning from Namad. We were so excited. Um, so real quick, you three plus a gnome were down in the basement. Oh uh, no, the gnome wasn't with us. We it was just us three. Everyone okay. else was upstairs. Okay. Oh, I, okay. That answers my. Uh, all right. So, whoever the we, gnome was was probably in this uh, laboratory's we, cupboard. I mean, in that. Yeah, I mean, with uh, well, with I mean, like we said, like I said, if uh, if looking at you know who you said was there and uh, who you you were able to see, and obviously Namod was was killed up at, at the top of the at the lighthouse. Um that would be Valkyrie Vorpost. Um I imagine if you want if you were to find him you might be able to find more answers. But... Can I or anything? <laughs> what, what was that? Whoa, whoa. Um, oh, I guess he was listening, so he's just live here. Never mind. <laughs> Uh, and I do a history check for all the names to see if I remember any from like my study days. Uh, yeah, you can, you can, uh, you can give it a, a check on that. Almost that twenty, this motherfucking does. <laughs> it. I mean, it's hard to really get a a, a like a to recall exactly. Um, like the details as far as like what you can remember. Um, the easy thing to say is that they were all, uh, in various places, uh, known as very you know scholars that are well known in in the magic circles and of the, like of those places that were you know mentioned you know. Um, but I mean, much other than that the literally what he just told you <laughs> it, it's hard for you to, like it all it, it just is not coming to you like yeah. you figure you probably need to like uh it's like trying to remember somebody's name at a cocktail party it's like yeah you're you're uh, it's on the tip of my tongue <laughs> so were they like scholars of any particular thing or just random well i mean they were just they studied magic of all kind they're just uh, uh i assume yeah. they're the equivalent of grad students okay. uh, you know i mean of all that they they were anything that there wasn't as uh, heavily relegated re regulated um and then obviously nothing illegal but um nothing but um and your like mentor he's I don't know seemed good and all on the straight and narrow or anything uh, I mean that's I we didn't have any reason to believe he, uh, he was any he was anything but you know uh, <sighs> It's... The way I'm, I'm seeing it, they took out the head guy, a real strong, strong dude, and I'm not fam too familiar with orcs using anti-magic crystals. Yeah, that's because so, they made a deal with them. They, they did? How? Yeah, before we got up there, we heard something about, yeah. Oh, yeah, see, I didn't pick up... We had a deal... You kill the other mages and I get the book. Oh, you didn't think. Back on it. Oh, that's heartbreaking. It sounds like you're telling me their teacher was trying to sell them out. I, mean, I, I just turned over. In it that he sent him down to the basement. He just oh, of course, of course. Of it. Uh, yeah, but I'm just turning to the group just to... Damn, I'm sick. <laughs> uh, spy wise type pops in. I was like, yeah, he also said something about who lied? Like what? Who, who, who lie or something angering? Who lie? You know, Spywise says, kind of piping. Piping. Like, well, do you guys know what? what do you, Do you guys like uh, mage folks? Yeah. You know who who lie is? No, I'll do a religion check, but I'm uh, not expecting much. 
uh well and well one of you guys is asking which is spy wise your buddy is asking the mages <laughs> and the mage is like oh. um so the mages were asking us no no no, no. uh spy wise is asking the mages and they're like that we we definitely don't know anything about uh uh that's beyond us uh that just sounds like a random made up word. Um, <laughs> who lie? Oh. Now I'm curious. Religion check. I don't know why you'd even think it was religious at this point. Yeah, I don't know why you would check religion. <laughs> oh, it sounded like a deity name, so I was like, hey, maybe. Uh, it could have been a boss. Either way, either way, yeah, either way, it probably could have been anything with my yeah. <laughs> minus one, my two minus one, my yeah. unnatural one. Um, yeah, um, well, we've, um, we've got a lot to, 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 the process so if you don't mind uh, we just wanted to come and see if we can help you guys out but we gotta we've got some uh, ar arrangements to work out with uh, and contact uh, Namod's family um, that's good thank you for your help yeah. do matcha as we're about to leave flashes his magic FBI badge and says we thank you for your assistance in our investigation And uh, um, no, no, Brock looks at you, he's like, and, mud, and uh, whispers under his breath, Fuck. and <laughs> they all walk away. <laughs> I sighed, I have a fucking cap. <laughs> what a narc. I thought the cop. <laughs> uh, all right, so we. Definitely need to find this Balkan Vorpa guy. Vorpa's, yeah. Uh, yeah it's, uh, did, uh, yeah. Seth, did you saw, I, heard, I saw you were looking around. Did you saw, spot anything? Uh, mm -hmm. yeah. All right. And uh, so I, I presume you guys will be heading out to, to look for, for Balkan Vorpos? Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. So he did like come into town so at various inns or whatever probably mm -hmm. is, so. the one thing I will do before we fully set out on our own into town is uh is the Burgermeister still there? Uh so as you kinda like as you guys walk out the, the Burgermeister is uh still like out uh, just waiting. It's like uh uh, uh hold there. Hello? Yeah. Um, did it... um, we kind of need your assistance uh, searching for somebody. Um, uh, we are looking for one of the teacher mages, more or less, here by the name of Valkyrie Vorpos. Uh, um, he's a half. Wing gnome, He's a gnome person. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, and the toes are very dead. Basically, if uh, all I'm asking is if you see a, a the gnome wearing magical looking gear that he hopefully still has on, um, to send him to the tavern we all more or less stayed at. Uh, and, Send the guy uh, as possible. Yeah, we're likely yeah. visiting. Yeah. Be staying. Yeah. Well, um, I mean, you guys, uh, uh, yeah, I will, I will, I will keep an eye on him. Uh, if I, if I spot him, I'll, I'll, uh, he's definitely, uh, if somebody was here and could know something, they're definitely a, a, a person of interest. So I'll, we will keep an eye on uh, for him. Uh, Thank uh, you. Uh, Sounds like a plan. Mm -hmm. Speaking of plan, where are we going now? <laughs> so as you guys like uh, investigate, accept kind of like leads the the like trail, uh, f uh, following, 
Uh, she kind of like says like, "Well, I've got it." And as you follow, kind of like uh, the trails and detail the clues, as you know, you you kind of like let's just say you kind of go into that Witcher Vision mode where you're following the the red footsteps <laughs> and the little red broken band branch and stuff like that. Um, and you end up at uh, at a at a abandoned house closer to the uh into town an abandoned house closer to the outskirts of town um you as you head over there you are able to kind of like look in and catch a valkyrie vorp of a, a gnome figure who you can only imagine that matches your uh, presumptive uh, <laughs> uh, what well, might be Valkyrie Vorpost. Uh, let me get the. Where is it? Just, so he went inside what I'm assuming is like a little abandoned, like wood house. Where's the image? Oh, there it is. It's loading. Where I want to just it? lean over to Doom Watch and just. You, you still have that alchemist fire, yeah? Okay, and then. Why would just, I set just, this on fire? Just in case, I'm keeping. Um, I am making plans upon plans upon uh, plans. That should be We're, listen, if if we need a plan D, if A through C seems to seems to go south, I mean, going south is normally not a bad thing, but you know, if things tend end up going going do all. Uh, oh. I got it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you the uh, we. I'm trying to like. That shows the. So I am curious. Does there seem to be like any sort of hesitation or adjustment, or is he like seem? Do those footprints seem to like purposefully head to this place? Uh, he seems to kind of like just see it. Uh, it's just uh, like uh, there was a. Uh, from where you fall in the path, it seemed like just a path of escape, and he seems to have, uh, yeah, it was kind of like almost like he, um, he found up. Uh, let's see, let's make sure I have the right information. Uh, da -da -da. uh yeah, he's uh. He f he immediately went into town, and there seems to be like a a bit of a uh from your trail pop, uh, uh like following. There seemed to be like a bit of like a a finding process, a searching process, and then it ended up at this abandoned house. And you see, um, uh, uh, Doomwatcher uh, uh, is going to cast message to. Vorpos and say we are three friends outside. We met your students Amir, Zuzin and Nerbrook. We are investigating what happens. We are friends. We dealt with what happens at the docks. I'm not sure if you've heard of that or what happened at the docks, but uh, we help. Uh, I, I, uh, I don't know. Uh, uh, I get, um, I guess uh, I guess those were Nemo's. He replies back to you. Like, uh, sure. I, I wasn't aware of what happened in the docks, but uh, uh, come in. Uh, don't hurt me. He said we can go on in. Be don't have your hands on your weapons. Just go in and let them talk with him. Hmm. Yes. Doom Watcher leads the way into the house. Uh, he like kind of like uh, looks out at you and adjusts like his eyes. You see the gnome uh, figure like kind of like peeking out from a, around like a like a broken down arm arm armoire. 
Are you? Uh, you're not gonna. You're not gonna. Uh, uh, I guess I it doesn't matter if you are or aren't. <laughs> well, and he kind of like walks out. To, uh, is there? Like is, there any is there anything you? Uh, what, what What do you need from me? Is what? what um. Research, why, why, why did you look for me? Because you're one of the only survivors of, like, the teachers uh, and Dumachida's uh, air quote. You're the only survivor that we can actually find and talk to. All right, well. <clears throat> let me get my... Well... Uh, well, uh, um, um, yeah, sorry, I don't know about, those are nice, those are not my students, but they seem, they seem like nice enough kids. Um, uh, yeah, we, we, There was a lot to, to unpack. That was a... I... I don't even know... What happened or why it did. Um, I guess you... you're... I guess you're looking for answers, aren't you? Yeah. yeah. Did anything odd happen before or after around the orcs show? Uh, I guess I, you know, I guess I should probably at least just like, I guess we'll start from the beginning. Uh, It'd be good. Uh, and you can tell that he, it, all of this is not just uh, my in inability to improv, but uh, all of this is, seems to be uh, that uh, you don't even really have to roll for insight to tell that he seems very shook and very... Uh, like he's just overcoming, f trying to deal with and overcome, f I mean, overcome fresh trauma. Like, this is, he's not quite in a great place, uh, for obvious reasons, considering all the death. Um, well, pleased to meet you. My name is, uh, Falcon Vorpos. Um. I come from a very small village, uh, south of the Fernal River, a few miles west of Northside. Um, recently, my father passed away, uh, and left me with a family home. So I was, uh, in left with uh, the charge of uh, managing and dealing with the, the family assets. Uh, and I was looking over the home. Um, and I found a, I found a, an old book, an old undecipher, an indecipherable book. Uh, kind of like in our discussions leading up to Don't today. Don't feel bad. I can't read either. Uh, uh, okay. Well, uh, either way, um, uh, the book we, uh, we deemed in the intervening time, uh, Prime. Um, well, we, we, without any clues as to what, what, you know, how my dad, my father came into possession of the book, I, uh, I just, uh, sent a missive to my friend, uh, Soren the Black in Araketa. Uh, you know, kind of laid out the conundrum I was in and, um, and what, well, you know, I, looking for advice that he might have. Um, he reached out to, uh, uh, reached out to Namod, who he knew from other places. Um, they reached out to a couple of the sages that are, that are, uh, luckily I'm good friends with. Uh, and then we had a, a gathering as uh, we kind of dubbed it the secret of the book, you know, just 
uh, it's always more fun with it when the gathering has an official name, you know. Um, it makes it officially uh, what 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 do they call them? The ah, damn, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, well, it's what happened you... with Julius Caesar. It's what happened with Julius Caesar where well, they had a bunch you, of people. Uh... Well, I'm not familiar with this. <laughs> what happened, Drew? Or, well, I said uh, a trail? Close, uh, but I'm thinking like collaborate, like when you have a group of conspirators. Yeah, conspirators. Every good conspiracy needs a name. Well, uh, okay. Well, uh, I don't know who this Julius Caesar is, but uh, um, we we simply had a gathering of, of friends to talk about uh, a book and kind of like and see what we can we can decipher. Um, to be honest, once we got together, we spent uh, more time drinking and telling old stories than we did discussing the book. But uh, um, I think it was just the you know, the nature of when we get together. Uh, still, uh, Nadia Mansuri, the 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 expert that we had brought brought in the, on ciphers and and languages and whatnot. Uh, she seemed uh, very, very interested in the book, uh, and she was making, she was trying to make some headway. Um, well, then that, that's suddenly the storm hit, and uh, well, the orcs attacked. Um, the others and I were, were we, uh, we were caught completely off guard. Uh, for some reason, none of our spells work would work. Um, I was very fortunate that uh, my my nosiness paid off because I had noticed a secret closet earlier uh, in the back of that room, and I slipped inside before they could find me. Um, I hid in there and. Uh, I had to listen to the orcs run through and slaughter my friends and colleagues. Well, if it helps, they definitely won't be getting away with it. Uh, that doesn't really help, uh, but thank you for saying that. Um, the... The... Good friend. You know, they were, the, as I, I simply waited there. I uh, heard the orcs come through. I heard more activity of of uh, uh, people coming through. And but once I heard, uh, once I once I got a little bit more quiet, and I felt I could, I felt I was safe. I uh, I, uh, I, I I escaped the 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 my hiding place, and I snuck out of the lighthouse. Um. I didn't really have any place to stay in the in town. I and I, I hadn't planned that ahead far ahead, so I just took refuge in this house. And I mean, and then now you know, just waiting to to figure out how to get out of here and travel up north. Um, but yeah. While I was planning that, you now you you found me. Doom Watcher would share the info that we discovered, uh, including like the anti magic field crystal and the potential betrayal uh, with the teaming up with Mega by one of the people. Uh, yeah, I've. Uh... Uh, and and you say that uh, he he took the book and and Miss Vansori with him. Yes. I guess that old book was uh, that I've been toting around was more valuable than I thought. Um, from what I remember from the discussion. Mega and his pirate band got hired to kill you guys so that and keep the one guy alive along with Miss Ventoy, I presume. So that way he can translate it, find out what it does, and probably sell it off and 
not key you guys into whatever. Yeah. Uh, obviously, Mega is yeah. double cross and. But if he was willing to do all that, it must have been more valuable than he had thought. Well, 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 what was that say? name you mentioned? Or something? Spy Wise. And what, what was what does it do with? He says something about a lie. Spy Wise says that kind of. Like, mm -hmm. Uh huh. Who lie or? Be possibly being angered. Yeah. Ah. Uh, hmm. I do recognize the name, although it's, uh, I mean, I, I, I was in, uh, I do the others, but uh, Nama, uh, and I had only just met, but despite that, I do find it odd that he would be throwing around a name like that. Um, Hulai, that's an interesting figure. Um, to kind of put it succinctly, he's, um, the Lord of the, uh, the Dan of Rakti. Uh, you know, the, a bit of your history, there's, uh, of course, the ancient race of demons that came before the elves, um, from which, you know, the, the, the elves fought, you know, against, uh, Hulai himself, in fact, vanished from Omeria over four centuries ago during the Transmuter Wars. So, I mean, it, even for a, a gnome, that's a, that's a long time. That's an entire lifetime ago. Or several lifetime, several of your lifetimes ago, but, you know. Mm. But, um. So, like, definitely not someone who would be here and care. Um, I mean... I did say, you know, he was a he was a very powerful demon. Uh, the, the he simply disappeared and vanished several centuries ago. And I cannot tell you for sure if he, um, if he is dead. Nobody knows for sure, <laughs> or if he's you know oh. he's on another plane. Or, or, but. It's an uh, it's somebody that we that hasn't been spoken of in a very long time. Um, well, um. Um, and as we were discussing this, uh, uh, I mean, all I know is that I, I can tell you this, I'd, that's pretty much all the information I can, I can give you. Uh. Well, we thank you, and hopefully things start turning out to be better for you on your journey back home. I only wish for that. Yeah. It's a, it's a cruel thing, you know, that you never, you almost never know when you're going to have your, when you're having the last conversation you ever had with someone until until you've had it uh, and do matcha would will lead the way out not showing the badge this time because he doesn't want to cause more PTSD <laughs> Uh, if, I, I will say, um, if you see me around, um, if you see me around, uh, 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 
North. Okay. If you see me around, I don't know if you're going to make your way all the way north to Orbea. You know. I'm going to be staying, trying to get up there to stay with friends. And, um, I, I, I'm not opposed to being a familiar face if you need one. We're as not very familiar as we are, but, you know, relatively speaking. Uh, as Dumachi leaves, he winks and says, us magic folk need to stay together after all. Uh, all right. And as you kind of, like, exit, uh, the 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 abandoned house as you walk away uh you you're walking a little bit further and mastid approaches you uh like stumbles into you as he's walking in another direction and kind of just turns to you as he kind of is walking by and said oh hey um have you have you found any leads yet yes we did find a gnome um i but Dumacha will debrief the Bergenmeister with everything okay. that we've learned to buy. Um, okay. I mean, from what you can tell you, you say, it seems, seems pretty, uh, seems pretty forthcoming. Uh, I guess we have no reason to, to keep him from, uh, uh, Making his way up uh, at his leisure. Uh, uh, well, um, oh, uh, now that now, now I'm uh, now that we're done with that, I I recall what I was going to uh, tell you about. Um, we got word uh, from someone up in Castle Grasp uh, that wanted to speak to you all uh specifically um they there's a a, a noble uh from castle grasp uh, that sent a message uh over to us to find out who was involved in the defense and uh uh it was signed by uh barik uh, mansuri uh who's, who's a noble uh powerful noble in castle grasp with the pretty deep pockets of us and myself um, so he's gonna, he's gonna want to, he says he wanted to, to, to discuss something with you guys, discuss something and meet with you. Uh, he's going to be arriving by boat, uh, tomorrow. So just wanted to give you guys a heads up, uh, about him, about, about this. Possibly an opportunity, possibly... Uh, I, I'm not sure what what he might want. <laughs> but, uh, hopefully, good things. Indeed. Uh, um, that being said, uh, 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 hopefully, you know, I, I wish you guys luck in, in whatever you guys are going to do. And I, we've, I've got a lot of things to pre keep preparing myself. Uh, all right, uh, you have a you have, you have. I'll see you guys around. <laughs> Take care. <laughs> Is he yeah. gonna... And he kind of walks off, and as you guys uh, kind of stand there, uh, stopping to think of to think what might lie ahead with your investigation and uh, what things may await you to today and tomorrow, and especially with Bahrik Mansuri, who. Um, you, uh, can only presume is at least related, uh, to Nadia Mansouri. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, astute, uh, uh, you may realize, uh, that he's at least related, maybe like a, like a father, like a, uh, uh, something like that. You'll, you'll meet him soon. Um, that brings us to the end of another episode of through the tomes we've we made a nice amount of little pr of progress we found out a lot about a thing a lot uh, about things we there's a there's much to 
Yeah, Watch for the thing goes, but um, new shit has come to light, <laughs> as it were. Um, yeah. Thank you all for being with us once again. Uh, on behalf of the of the team, thank you for watching us either live here on Rebelli TV on Twitch or over there on the, uh, the VODs on YouTube. Uh, be sure to keep an eye out there. Be sure to keep an eye out eventually on the tomes.com when I can. <laughs> I, I will eventually get up that updated with show notes and uh, the audio version of the episodes eventually. But you know, check that out there. Um, but otherwise, you can follow uh, all the places where you can watch live uh, on Twitch and uh, check out the VODs on YouTube for this and all of our other fun shows. Um, until next time. Hasta los huevos. Año. Fight.